Check him out, Mr. Rick Ward, banjo maker, banjo player, etc. So um, I've had some questions come in a lot over the years about uh, tunings. It's kind of I can see it, it tuning around on this stuff, and we talk about uh, relative tuning or open tuning, um, or modal tunings, minor tunings, all this terminology and stuff. Um, but um, one of our members, Luca, he sent me in a uh, a question that 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 I need to address, and so he's basically asking, you know, uh, he wants to know about uh, what's open C, um, and how when I talk about tuning down a full step from from open G tuning, like what am I talking about? Luke is a little confused, and uh, understandably so, because I, I I realize I haven't really explained this in detail. Uh, it's also a sort of you know this is a uh, a bit of a mysterious subject to me because I've never really been taught any of this or really read anything about it. I'm I'm ashamed to say. Uh, so I've always just done it all by ear, um, which takes years, I guess, to hone that skill. So let me try to uh, help you guys out. I've got my handy tuner here, uh, so I know exactly where I'm at right now. That song Muskrat is played out of what's what's commonly known today as double C tuning, G C G C D. This banjo, I don't ever hardly tune up to actual G, C, G, C, D. Uh, where I'm at is, uh, I'm a good deal lower. I'm down in, uh, this is probably E, A. Yeah, I'm at E, A, E, A, B. That's where I'm at. E, A. E, A, B. So that's my double C tuning. Right there, where I usually go to. And that's as low as I can possibly sing with this bass string run down to the C. That's pretty close to as low as my bottom out. That low A. So, <laughs> that's where I like to tune into, because then I get my full range up from there, I can sing high. So you might want to try that too. Um, so, but, so, oh, open C you're talking about. Open C, um, oh, well, double C, uh, coincidentally, is also is known as uh, hook and line tuning. Um, in, in the tradition that I was steeped in, learning from uh, people like George Gibson, uh, uh, George grew up not really referring to that as, as double C tuning. They referred to that as hook and line tuning because that was the song that, the tune that everybody knew, oh, you tune, you run this string down and you run this string up and then you're, you're to play hook and line. So it was known as uh, hook and line tuning, double C. Now what Luca is asking about open C, what I think you mean by that is the tuning that I've been using the last few days um, to, to play a little bit of Cackling Hen. I've been uploading some recordings of... Uh, of the new banjo here that I made uh, playing Cackling Hen, and that is in uh, open C tuning. I think what you mean is a, a G, C, G, C, E. So all I do is I run the first string up until it sounds right. Now you notice 
notice, guys, every time if I change the, the pitch of one string, if I tighten it or loosen it, I have to go through and adjust the other four strings every time. Because on these banjos, it, the, the bridge will move. Every time you adjust one string, the bridge moves slightly, and it's put all your other strings out of whack. So when you tune one string, you need to go back and touch up your others too. They'll all be out of whack. So this is called cackling hen tuning. Um, rather than G, C, G, C, E, or open C, just call it cackling hen tuning because that's the song that, or tune that everybody should be able to play out of this. tradition that I was steeped in, uh, that was known as cackling hen tuning. So that's all it is. Luca, you're worried about breaking a string. Well, um, that's not gonna, that's not gonna happen to you. If you, even if you're tuned up to standard, uh, standard pitch where you're actually at G, C, G, C, D, if you bring this string up to E, it ain't gonna break on you. If it does, you needed a new string anyway. Um, but the way to rectify that is, is to tune everything lower and get down into a low pitch like me. So try this, Luca. Write this down on your little pen and paper. So you're trying to get into open C. Just take your tuner and tune your banjo to this lower tuning and you'll be able to play all that open C stuff. So I'm at E, A, E, A, C sharp. So that's your open C tuning to play Cackling Hen and all those other great, uh, like like you mentioned Dave Macon, I think, he, uh, Uncle Dave played a bunch of stuff in that. And that's, that's a great tuning, you can play a lot of stuff in that. So try that. Now you want to talk about going um, from, from G tuning down a, a full step or whatever, so let me get to a standard G tuning. I would drop my first string back down to... match the same note at the second string at the second fret. And that's where I want to be. That gets me back in a double C hook and line tuning, where we can play muskrat. Okay, so you want to go to G. Um, we'll drop the first string down to where it should match the third string noted at the fourth fret. enough and the, the, our bass string, the fourth string, it'll need to get run back up to match the second string. Or to match the first string, sorry. So run your, your bass string back up until it matches the first string open. Basically, I'm in an open G tuning right now, but I'm much lower. So I got my tuner, I'll tell you where I'm actually at. E, B, E, G sharp, B. That's where I'm actually at. So Luca, the way that you that you tune down from standard G tuning, so let's say this banjo is all the way in G, well, all the way up to standard G pitch, and you wanted to play in F. I'm all the way down in open E right now, I guess, right? I came way down. But if you just want to go down to F, you know, you just, just take your tuner or something, and instead of where it's a G, when that, for your, your third string is a G, run your third string down to where it's an F, okay? I'm going to come up to where you'll need to be.
basically there. So I'm now instead of you know, I'm in open G, but I move back up to the, the, the F the pitch of F, the key of F, I guess. So I'm at F C F A F C. Sorry, that's where you need to be. So just take your tuner and just drop everything you know down a step. Drop it down to F. And then you know, fill out your your relative tuning from there. Yeah. All right, Luca. I hope that that helped you out. Uh, that I spent a good bit of time on that. That should get you get you set up. Um, if that didn't help you out, Luca, holler back at me. I'll fill in the rest of the holes. We probably need to do uh, another uh, a full video on just tunings and stuff. But that's a great primer. Uh, yeah. Just use this thing and get exactly where you want to go.